Uh, good afternoon and thank you. Uh, today I'm going to present a joint work with Alessandro Tale, Arnold Zaki and Frank Walter on free description logics with definite descriptions. Uh, sorry for the cacophony. Um, referring expressions are uh, noun phrases that can be used to refer to a single object in a given context. And typically they are uh, either individual names like Bernardo, DL93, DL20, or uh, definite descriptions such as uh, the general chair of DL20, the program chair of DL20, the banquet of DL20. This example uh, previously was the special, the special session of DL20, but unfortunately, some organizers decided to have a special session and I had to change the example. <laughs> um, so one interesting feature of uh, referring expression, referring expressions are the um, then being able to denote a single object in a context, like in cases of Bernardo, DL20, the general chair of DL20, is that they may also fail to denote any object at all, uh, as in uh, the case of uh, DL93, since uh, I guess that there was no uh, DL workshop that year, or the program chair of DL20, given that fortunately uh, there, there's more than one of them, or the banquet of the DL20, uh, since unfortunately this year we have none, uh, but we have a special session. Uh, in classical logic, non-denoting referring expressions um, are not so easily captured, uh, captured since individual names uh, are always denoting, given that uh, um, interpretation functions are total in that they uh, map every individual name to an object of the domain of the interpretation. And definite descriptions are typically not even included as terms of the language. Uh, following a standard approach that dates back to Russell, uh, sentences uh, like the C is D, where the C uh, is a definite description, um, are paraphrased with a conjunction that says at least one object is C, uh, at most one object is C, and every object that is C is also D. On the other hand, uh, logics that uh, allow for uh, both individual names and definite descriptions as terms, uh, and um, that allow for terms to be possibly non-denoting, um, so-called free logics, there is a wide variety of them. And in our work, we have tried to import some um, uh, features of uh, free logics uh, into uh, description logic uh, languages. Uh, in particular, syntactically, we have uh, both uh, individual names A and definite descriptions, yota C, that we read the C as mm, terms of uh, the description logic languages. And semantically, we allow uh, interpretation uh, functions to be total as usual on concept and role names, uh, but uh, partial on individual names, meaning that only um, uh, individual names in a certain subset uh, of all the individual names are mapped to uh, elements of the domain. Uh, some examples of uh, concepts uh, that we uh, are able to, um, uh, uh, that we have in these uh, languages are the usual ACO concepts like uh, a, a program chair of uh, DL20, where DL20 is a uh, uh, nominal as usual, but also we uh, want we would like to have other nominals constructed uh, from definite descriptions, uh, such as the nominal um, the program chair of uh, DL20 and combinations thereof, uh, like the concept that says a program chair of DL20 that is not the one and only program chair of DL20, but also instance queries, more complex expression like the uh, Boolean instance queries um, that um, asks whether, that ask whether, uh, for instance, uh, DL93 um, uh, denotes any, anything at all, formalized by top of DL93, or uh, the Boolean instance query that asks whether the general chair of uh, DL20 uh, is also a program chair of DL09. Uh, and of course, also um, concept inclusions that involve uh, these new kind of uh, nominals and uh, features of the language. Um, more formally, we have introduced a uh, language that we called uh, ALCO-YOTA. 
uh, that is defined in terms of um, starting from a set of terms, uh, tau, that are either individual names A or definite descriptions, uh, yota C, where C is a concept and concepts are defined by mutual induction, starting from concept names using the, using the usual uh, connectives and uh, a constructor for nominals that uh, allow for, um, allows for uh, arbitrary uh, terms inside. Uh, we also have uh, formulas uh, as usual, concept inclusions and assertions and Boolean operators on them. And we have considered also uh, a variant of the language uh, yellow, yellow that we call yellow yota, in which we disallow negation uh, of a concept, but we allow for the top and bottom concept. And again, the, the nominal constructor with arbitrary terms inside and uh, Boolean uh, operators and formulas. Um, the semantics, as I said, is um, uh, based on the notion of partial interpretation that generalizes the standard notion of interpretation in that, uh, again, um, concept names and role names, um, it's total uh, on concept names and role names uh, as usual, but uh, it's partial on uh, the set of individual names, meaning that um, uh, only individual names in a certain subset of it, the individual names are mapped to elements of the domain. Um, from this, we can define the value uh, of a term tau in I that is, well, given by the um, uh, interpretation function for individual names that are either uh, uh, mapped to elements of the domain or uh, undefined. Uh, and for um, definite descriptions, such as yota c, the value of yota c in i is uh, the uh, object d if the extension of uh, the concept c in i is the singleton that contains only d and we're going to see the uh, definition by mutual induction of the extension of a concept in a minute and it's undefined um, uh, otherwise. We, we, we say that a term denotes uh, in i if the value of the term is uh, defined in I. And the extension uh, indeed of a uh, concept C in I is given as usual for ALC concepts. Uh, while for nominals, we have that um, the extension of nominal to in I is uh, the set that contains only the value of to in I if to denotes in I, and it's the empty set otherwise. Uh, meaning that the set of objects uh, satisfy the property uh, of being uh, tau uh, is uh, the empty set in case tau doesn't denote in I. A few basic uh, remarks. We have that satisfiability on total interpretations um, uh, can be reduced to satisfiability on partial interpretations uh, by requiring that each individual name in a formula uh, denotes using the, the, the formula not nominal of A subsumed by bottom. We have that also instance queries that are expressions of the form C of tau or R tau to prime are just syntactic sugar. They can be encoded uh, using formulas that contain only CIs in a way that is similar to the standard encoding of ALCO, but we have to uh, require that the, um, the terms are denoting in, a, in the same uh, way as before, not tau is subsumed by bottom. And there is also an equisatisfiable encoding that doesn't require negation on uh, concept inclusions that works for yellow yota. And for satisfiability checking, uh, we can assume formulas to be in some uh, kind of normal form where um, in particular definite descriptions of the form yota b where b is a concept name. Uh, concerning reasoning, in ALCO yota we have that uh, formula satisfiability on partial and total interpretations uh, can be reduced to uh, ALCOU formula satisfiability on total interpretations, where ALCOU is ALCO extended with the universal role, using ideas that um, uh, somehow are similar to the uh, Russell's uh, paraphrase in that uh, the concept uh, the B is mapped to the concept that says A, B, and B as at most one object, where this is expressed using a suitable fresh uh, individual, uh, fresh nominal. And from these uh, and a known result on uh, formula satisfiability for ALCOU, uh, we get an X time upper bound that is matched by the corresponding lower bound. 
So we have that ACO uh, ASU IOTA formula satisfiability and entailment problems on partial and total interpretations are X time complete. Uh, we have also uh, some uh, results on uh, yellow uh, IOTA that are obtained by adapting the completion algorithm for yellow T boxes so that we add to the classification graph a copy of each concept name in the T box and we remove this copy only if the extension uh, of the concept as cardinality equal to one in uh, any model of the T-box. And from this, we obtain that the uh, yellow Yota formula satisfiability problem partial interpretations is NP complete and the entailment problem is P time complete. We've also studied uh, the expressive power of uh, uh, ALCO Yota, introducing a notion, um, suitable notion of uh, by simulation. Uh, the idea is that uh, two, um, uh, but ASCO Yota by similar objects, uh, D in I and E in J, uh, are such that uh, D has a distinct ASCO by similar object in I that is morally like an ASCO copy of D in I, if and only if E has one distinct ASCO by similar object in uh, J. And moreover, if there is no distinct um, uh, copy, ASCO copy of D in I, then the uh, ASCO uh, Yota B simulation relation is the left total, meaning that the domain of the relation coincides with the domain of the interpretation I and symmetrically for um, E and right totality on the other direction. Uh, with this notion, we get the, the expressive power of uh, ASCO U and ASCO Yota concepts uh, is not comparable in partial and on total interpretations. Uh, moreover, uh, we, are, we are able to characterize ASU Yota as the fragment of first order logic uh, interpreted on partial interpretations that is invariant under ALCO Yota B simulations. Uh, concerning related and future work, uh, well, uh, a lot has been done on cardinality constraints on concepts uh, in uh, the ELS, and they are uh, very expressive. Uh, we um, uh, plan to consider connections to these settings, but we, the, the, here we can express only a very limited form of uh, cardinality constraints, namely the uniqueness constraint. Uh, and there is also uh, uh, research on the uh, referring expression generation uh, problem from linguistics that has been tackled with uh, uh, DL techniques as well, and an interesting uh, new line of research on identity resolution problems and query answering over knowledge bases with referring expressions. Uh, this work by David and others, there was also a presentation there yesterday. Uh, we would like to understand better the, the, the connections with this um, setting as well. We're interested also in um, the uh, best definability property and the computation of explicit definitions in uh, these uh, Yota languages. Uh, Frank gave a, a talk yesterday on uh, related um, related topics, related issues. Um, there is, uh, there are also more semantic choices uh, related to free logics that could uh, be explored. And there is some recent uh, work uh, now going on also uh, that connects more free logics and uh, description logics. And of course, we're also interested in uh, an, uh, extending uh, these languages to a uh, uh, model and temporal setting where we could have uh, an interesting interaction between uh, non-denoting terms and um, non-rigid uh, terms over the model or temporal dimension. Um, so here is a partial uh, list of references. Uh, I think I am on time, thank you. And if you have any questions, uh, please.